Now at eight, just one day after San Francisco holds a special meeting on pedestrian safety, another pedestrian is hit in a crosswalk. And once again, the driver works for one of the ride sharing companies you contact with your mobile phone. We have live team coverage tonight. Crown Force Jeff Bush looks at what must be done to improve pedestrian safety. And we begin with Crown Force Dan Kerman. J Dan joins us live from the scene of this latest accident in San Francisco. Dan. That's right, Pam. We're here at Larkin and Jackson, and it's right over there in that crosswalk where this elderly Asian woman was hit, not in the dark of night, but in broad daylight. It's here at the intersection of Larkin and Jackson where the crash occurred about 1.20 Friday afternoon. This photo, taken by a witness, shows the pink mustached lift vehicle, and if you look closely, you can see a woman on the ground. I, I saw, and there was like a pedestrian lane right there. And I said, oh my God, it's uh, the lift driver ran over a pedestrian. Police say the lift car was heading west on Jackson and making a left turn onto Larkin when the driver hit the elderly Asian woman who was in the crosswalk. The woman suffered a leg injury. In a statement, Lyft says, the safety of everyone on the road is our top priority. We've deactivated the driver as we collect more details. It's very sad, you know, these guys out there on the street running around not trained. This San Francisco cab driver who came upon the incident has serious concerns about these ride-sharing companies. Hopefully these will, will not happen anymore because there's more and more people getting run over by these guys, you know. This is not the first accident involving a pedestrian in these ride-sharing companies. On New Year's Eve, an Uber driver struck a family of three in a tenderloin crosswalk, killing six-year-old Sophia Liu. In this case, the driver was arrested. Now, this incident here at this intersection is still under investigation. We can tell you that both Uber and Lyft say they have very stringent policies for their drivers, including background checks and reviews of their driving records. Reporting live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. New tonight, pedestrian safety is a hot topic with city leaders and several plans are already in the works to make it safer to walk in San Francisco. Our live team coverage continues now with Crown Force Jeff Bush. Jeff, what are some of the city's plans? Pam, we are here at the corner of Octavia and Market Street, one of the most dangerous intersections in San Francisco. Several accidents have occurred here, including one involving a wheelchair-bound man. He was in the intersection. Now, SFMTA says that they have $17 million set aside for infrastructure improvements that will make walking in the city a safer thing to do. Now, let's take some video, and you can see an example of one of the ideas that is on the table. This is called a bulb-out intersection, and it accomplishes three different different things. It makes the pedestrian easier to see. It makes the actual intersection shorter, so it takes less time for the pedestrian to cross, and it forces cars to make a wide right-hand turn for safety. Well, luckily, uh, the city has identified that there are only 6% of its roads where over 60% of the traffic crashes that end in serious injury or deaths are happening, so we don't actually need to fix all of you know, all 1,200 miles of our streets, just those 6%, which works out to about 70 miles. And for those, sometimes it's a corridor, sometimes it's an intersection. So at an intersection, there are different solutions. Bulb outs are one solution, uh, but you can have things like countdown signals where there weren't any signals or stoplights where there weren't any stoplights. Um, you could also do something like actually put up um, a radar or a LIDAR detection system so cars that are passing through know that their speed is unsafe. And city officials say that all ideas are on the table and they're welcoming public input. I'm Jeff Bush reporting live in San Francisco, Cron 4 News.